Good morning from Tanzania. Today we are actually doing a hike on a portion of Mount Kilimanjaro. We're really, really excited to do that because we get to actually spend the night in the huts on the side of the mountain. Our driver's about to come pick us up. We need to fill up on a really good breakfast. A really good breakfast. So I grabbed a protein shake out of our luggage, but I didn't have a shaker bottle and I poured it in this cup and now I'm stirring it around and it looks like mud. That's what I call an African protein shake. So we're taking the Mangaroo route. So the cool thing about the Mangaroo route on Mount Kilimanjaro is it has huts along the way that you can sleep on. We're only going to the first stop, spending the night, and then coming all the way down. So usually if we were doing the whole hike uh, to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, we would like stop there and keep going, but we're gonna spend the night and then come right back down. Still a seven mile hike. I feel like it's a pretty good warm up so that we can kind of get our feet wet on Mount Kilimanjaro and then we'll definitely be back to do the whole thing. But I think we're in for a super fun day and uh, I hope we have everything we need. I kind of just started throwing stuff in an overnight bag, so we shall see. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of resources are gonna be on the side of a mountain in a hut. So we finally actually have everything in the car, ready to go. Today hiking with Alex and I is first of all my mom, the most important. Then we also have a chef climbing the mountain with us that's gonna cook us dinner literally on the side of the mountain. That's what I'm talking about. We have two porters that are gonna help us with our backpacks. We have a guide who's very skilled and gonna teach us all about the mountain. And then our two friends that are also coming with us, they're gonna show us around, make sure we're safe. And I'm not sure what all these people are screaming about, but welcome to Moshi. <laughs> Okay, so we made a quick stop. We got some extra water, a couple trash bags, and I peed one more time because for the next 48 hours, I'm probably gonna be peeing in a hole. Never really realized how luxurious an actual toilet is until I was in Africa. When we researched going on this hike and as we prepared, they definitely told us there was a chance of rain. I think we were a bit naive or maybe just optimistic. We were being very optimistic. We're like, oh, it's not gonna rain, it'll be fine. We'll bring a very light jacket. Alex almost wore a short sleeve shirt. We're like, you know, I'm sure it'll be great, no problem. Of course we get here and it's freezing rain right here at the gate. We haven't even started yet. It's pretty cold. It, it almost looks like snow because it's raining really hard. We're at high elevation. We're unloading all of our stuff to take up the mountain and there's freezing rain. So we'll see how this goes. Pray for safety and Pray for better weather as we start hiking. <laughs> this is the poncho in case we have a heavy rain on the rainforest. Okay. Ready to rock? <laughs> I'm ready to rock. Let's You're go. Welcome. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I didn't think it was gonna be this cold and rainy, but I also didn't do much research. So I think I learned a valuable lesson today. Always listen to your wife. She told me to do more research, but I didn't. I said, babe, you should know what we're walking into and how to prepare. He's like, we'll figure it out, it's fine. And so when we packed, I don't think we prepared for this weather, but it's fine. We're gonna stay positive. It's gonna be great. This is a true Kilimanjaro experience. <laughs> So we thought we would be really smart, grab some extra water bottles, but there's no plastic allowed on the mountain. So now we're emptying the water bottles into other things. We didn't bring a camel back, so hopefully this will be enough. See the veggies, the rice, this is water dishes. These are hot pots. This yeah. is watermelon. This is thermos.
This trail leads to another waterfall. All right, so far it has been absolutely beautiful. Not too hard, it gets a little steep at times, but then sometimes you even go a little bit downhill, so it really helps out. Oh, the nature is absolutely beautiful. The temperature is perfect. It's kind of rainy, but that's keeping it cool, and it is the rainforest, so no complaints. We're almost to our halfway point where we're gonna eat for lunch. We got little box lunches. Our guides are so awesome. They're literally carrying the lunches up. So not only do they have all of our stuff on their back, they have backpacks, water. They're also literally just carrying our little box lunches. Then we'll get to the huts, have some dinner. The chef is already there. The porters are already there. There's no sign of them. They went way ahead of us. The porters run to the camp. Oh my gosh. He had a basket that was literally 50 pounds that he stacked on his head. We're gonna have a big dinner. <laughs> they said it's a surprise, so. <laughs> Dancing, singing, dinner. I can get down with all that. I've never been on a hike in the middle of a rainforest. It's so interesting, there's fog everywhere, there's moss all over the trees. It's such a cool atmosphere to be walking through. You hear the waterfalls in the background. I'm so grateful to be out here with my beautiful wife. Mwah. We're almost at the halfway point, which means we get to eat lunch. All right, I'm feeling very recharged after lunch. Got to sit down a bit, although my legs kind of cramped because it's a little cold. I definitely have more energy after eating. Babe, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Nice and recharged, yeah. refreshed. All right, mom, how are you doing? I'm so tired, it's just <laughs> uphill. <laughs> After lunch has been straight yeah, uphill. We've climbed about three and a half miles. We're getting close to the top. Ow! <laughs> Stupid ant. We're getting close to the Mandara huts. Gonna get some good food, some good sleep. From the stomach engineer. From the stomach engineer. Mr. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, our chef, Mr. Emmanuel. When we have like six or seven days hike, he's getting 30 eggs by himself from day one up to the end of the trek without break, even a single egg. Oh, oh, okay. I won't say no to that. We're just walking down the trail. So much energy. And our man Musa, he's one of the porters who carries the bags on his head and on his back. He came down, took the backpack off my shoulders. I feel so refreshed. Wah. All right, we just barely made it before dark. We have less than 10 minutes till we get to our huts. Oh man, somehow it's even more beautiful as it gets darker. So mysterious, <laughs> kind of creepy, but kind of fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we just finally got to our huts. Oh my gosh, it's so cute in here. I absolutely love these little beds. I get to cuddle with my husband. When we're at home, we have a king size bed. So it's really easy for us to spread out. But here, it's like a twin size bed. So we're forced to cuddle. Pretty pumped about that. Aww. <laughs> They're about to bring us a little basin of hot water so we can freshen up before dinner. And then the chef has prepared a massive meal is what they said. It's a huge meal because we probably just burned like 2,500 calories. That was, it was kind of a hard hike. Um, it was kind of just long. It wasn't super hard. There was lots of steps. It was getting kind of steep at some parts, lots of rocks. Uh, because it's a rainforest, there's also a lot of like little slippery points and mud. So you had to be really intentional about where you stepped. So I'm really excited to indulge in this meal and then cuddle with hubby in these cute little beds. Babe, so will you show us our basin? So refreshing. It's actually better than nothing, so I'm not complaining. I smell like jamba. <laughs> We're going to dinner. We just got to dinner and they have some really cute little appetizers prepared for us. Some hot tea and hot cocoa. Apparently we're having a fish meal, which I'm really excited for. We can hear monkeys in the background, so we really need to keep everything secure because monkeys will steal your food. And I think dinner's gonna be really good. I'm super excited and super hungry. Dinner was absolutely amazing. Definitely way better than I expected to eat on oh the side gosh. of a mountain. <laughs> what was your favorite part about dinner? Well, the fish was really good. Dessert was amazing, which was like some fruit and vegetables. It was a green orange. Yeah, it was a green orange. I've never had that never before. I've never had a green orange. That makes no sense. <laughs> it was really good though. We got to hang out, eat dinner, and uh, we were just kicking it with the crew, asking them a lot of questions when they hiked to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and just connecting, making some new friends. So that's honestly one of our favorite parts about traveling, learning about their towns and where they're from and uh, their background and what has shaped them to be the way that they are now. So um, that was probably one of my favorite parts of the trip so far. I feel so spoiled up here. They literally brought food to us. They cleaned up our entire dinner for us. They brought us water. They said they're gonna wake us up in the morning with coffee and hot tea, get our breakfast completely ready, take us up to a crater, and then we hike down in the morning. So we have a full day tomorrow. I'm super excited. I'm really, really happy we did this. Totally worth it. But for now, good night. Morning, Morgan. Hi. Good morning. Hello, Alex. Um, do you have coffee? Good morning. It was pretty cold last night in my little sleeping bag. Alex kicked me out of the bottom bunk. <laughs> so I slept up here all by myself like a princess and they made coffee for us. Literally, we have stuff on our table so they literally bent down on the floor and made coffee in this little open spot. Yay, thank you so much. Karibu. Yay. But it's so warm, it's giving me life. And we have breakfast in about 30, 45 minutes. If it's anything like last night, we'll be super fat for our hike. And this is so good.
Okay, overall, this was an absolutely amazing experience. Yes. It was kind of like glamping. <laughs> we got to camp a little bit, but we weren't intense and totally freezing. We at least had a little roof over our head. We had a few amazing meals, so 10 out of 10. Highly recommend the Mandara huts. Now we're gonna go down into the crater a little bit, see maybe some animals, some monkeys, and then go all the way down. We're about halfway down the same trail that we came up on and it's way easier, very relaxed. We got our great guides having some great conversation and just relaxing. All the porters have all of our stuff. So it's awesome, we're just chilling. The weather is perfect, it's really sunny and beautiful today, not so misty and creepy <laughs> like it was yesterday. Babe, how are you feeling? Today it's nice because it's a lot more clear, it's a lot sunnier. We're about 5-10 minutes from the gate, which is the entrance. We're going to stop there, eat some lunch, and then head back into town. Run through it! <laughs> we made it! This one was only 4 miles up and about 4 miles down. This has sparked something in us to want to do the entire Mount Kilimanjaro hike all the way to the summit and all the way back down, which can be done in about five to seven days. So we're coming back sometime next year in 2022 and we will summit Mount Kilimanjaro. We did it. That was so easy! <laughs> Why does everybody pretend like this is so hard?